Hi, my name is Penny. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the books that I read in May. So this month I read 15 books, which is kind of weird since I was saying to myself that I was going to read less books this month, or at least in the second half of the month. But I guess I didn't really do that, uh, because not only did I read 15 books, which is actually about what I read the previous couple of months, I think, but I did also read 4,600 and something pages, which is way more than I normally read in a month, so... <sighs> very proud of myself or the opposite disappointed in myself for spending too much time reading one of those now earlier in the month i did participate in the buzzword readathon and i read six books as part of that which i did already post a video about so when i get to those books i'll just talk about them really briefly and if you want to know more of my thoughts you can go and check out that video so let's start with audiobooks i read four audiobooks this month uh, the first two um, was Star Girl and Love Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli, which, to be honest, were really short, like four hour audiobooks. As I said, both of those were part of the Buzzword Readathon, so I won't really talk about them other than to say that Star Girl was good, but the first one was annoying, the second one was okay, but contemporary not really my thing. I did also listen to book 12 and 13 of the Saga of Recluse, which is the Wellspring of Chaos and Automaster. The Saga of Recluse is a massive series that I'm working my way through. And these particular two books follow a man named Carl who starts out as a Cooper. He tries to help this woman and from there his whole life kind of falls apart and then you follow him putting things back together and figuring out like kind of the bigger world that's going on. I did enjoy these two better primarily because Carl is an automage or is learning how to use auto magic. So in the Saga of Recluse series, you basically have this setup where there is auto magic, um, which is represented by the color black, and chaos magic, which is represented by the color white. And I really enjoy the philosophy in this series about how um, both are necessary and how you need to find balance in your life. In these particular books as well, Carl learns quite a lot about leadership and being put in positions where you have to make difficult decisions where there is no right call. These books are really long and detailed so I don't know that I can recommend them but I did enjoy them. So I also read three graphic novels. The first one I read as part of the Buzzword Readathon which was Paper Girls Volume 4. I actually probably liked it the most out of the whole series. As I said, check out my other video if you want to hear more of my thoughts on that. I also read Saga Volume 8. So Saga is a graphic novel series which is very popular on booktube. It basically follows this couple from Warring Planets who get together and have a kid and are now trying to find somewhere safe. Kind of like a space Romeo and Juliet. I still don't really know how I feel about this series, especially the direction that it's going in, but there definitely are some characters that I'm becoming very attached to. Uh, so I am looking forward to where things are going to go. I also think we got a few hints in this one about the children's story again. And as I always say, the children's story is the one that I am really excited to get into. The adults, who cares about adults, you know, they're so boring. The other graphic novel that I read was Lock and Key, Welcome to Lovecraft. I actually have the book here because I haven't had to return it to the library yet. I actually think... Pretty much every book, every book except one was from the library this month, so well done library, although not so good for my physical TBR sitting over there on my shelf, we'll just ignore it. So this graphic novel is broken up into chapters, and the first chapter I was so confused. There are a couple of characters that look a bit similar, and I didn't realise that they were separate people. Oh, and another couple were similar to... Eh, I was so confused about who was who. It was terrible. But once I got past the first chapter and it started becoming clear what who was who, I actually went back and read that chapter and it was fine. I think I was just confused. But I did really like this. I am so excited to learn more about what is going on with this house uh, and the poor family that's in it. 
um, I can already start to see some really cool connections so I'm excited um, if you haven't heard about this which I haven't seen too many people talk about it but if you haven't um, it basically follows this family where <sighs> trying to decide what is spoilers some not so good stuff happens and they end up needing to move back to kind of the family home which is this house in Lovecraft and um, they go to a different school and when they get there it all starts kind of linking into the parents previous life in that house and there's this house which has like this door where you, when you unlock it it takes you through essentially a portal and it seems like there's different keys that will take you to different places but it's just I think the thing that I really like is the linkages between the different stories and kind of the mystery that's slowly unfolding so if you haven't read this graphic novel series um, I'd recommend it at this point although I've only read the first book so I'll let you know more when I read further into the series. Okay ebooks I only read one ebook this month so I think I've mentioned this before but I mostly read ebooks while I'm walking around I read them on my phone um, but lately I've been addicted to Animal Crossing so I've been spending more of my walking time playing Animal Crossing and then as well I recently got kind of back into Pokemon Go which has taken up way more of my reading time so I only read one ebook and to be honest it wasn't a very good one it was Strange Girl by Christopher Pike and that was for the Buzzword Readathon so I talked about it over there don't really recommend it though okay so physical books we'll start with the book that I've read right at the start of the month so it's a bit of a struggle to remember it and I have already returned it to the library and that is The Siren by Kara Cass now this, I think you can tell by the cover, is kind of just a, a romance type novel. And for that reason, I wasn't really sure about it going into it. I thought, oh, is this going to be any good? I'm not really into romances. But I was surprised. There definitely was kind of this teenage romance stuff going on that was a little bit annoying. It basically follows the main character who, in the beginning has been on a ship which has everyone has been drowned by mermaids and she begs for her life and basically enters a contract with the ocean where she will now sing to drown other ships and in return for that she gets to stay alive she gives a hundred years to the ocean and then she gets to go back to the rest of her life even though it'll be a hundred years later and I really enjoyed the way the, the mermaids or sirens, they're more sirens, I really enjoyed kind of the concept of them. And I also thought the big climatic event that kind of happens in this story was blended really well with the romance. Oh, I forgot to say that the reason why I read this was for Mermaid, so it was May, gotta read mermaid books. I only managed to read a couple, but that's still more than normal although I have been trying to read more mermaid books just in general so um, you'll see I did put a hold on a bunch of mermaid books and they'll come through in the following months but yes the siren I wasn't really expecting that much from it but I actually liked it so the next couple of books I read were also for the buzzword readathon and that was the loneliest girl in the universe by Lauren James and the girl with all the gifts by M. R. Carey uh, both of those I really loved and I talk more about them in my buzzword wrap up. I'll link it down below as well as having put it earlier. You can find it. You're smart. Okay so then after the buzzword readathon I got back into Mermaid and I read Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. So I did do a separate review video for this book. It is a horror book but it wasn't too scary and I really enjoyed it. So uh, if you're looking for a mermaid book, then this is one I would recommend. And also, if you don't realize, Mary Grant is the pen name of Sean and Maguire. So if you like Sean and Maguire, that might also be a reason why you want to check out this book. Then I also read Queens of Queens of Fenburn. I can't talk um, by Kendara Black. So this is like a prequel to the Three Dark Crowns series which is set in kind of this witchy world where there's an island and on this island the queens always have triplets and the triplets when they're 16 have to fight to the death to win the throne and each one of the triplets will have a different magical power and represent that faction of the kingdom. 
uh, I think it's going to be a four book series. They've released two so far. I am really enjoying it, so I wanted to pick this up. Um, this basically has two short stories in it. One is about when the queens were young and they and got separated, I think when they were about six, and how they reacted to that. It kind of gives you a bit of backstory to what's going on in Three Dark Crowns. The second story is like a more historical, historical story about one of the earlier queens and what happened with her. It isn't as closely related to the story but it does kind of set up this idea that there has always been a lot of conspiracy and manipulation going on around the throne in this world for a long time. So I think if you really like the Three Dark Crowns series then you will want to pick this up but you also don't want to read it until after at least the first book, possibly the second book, because it will spoil you, for sure. Then the next book that I read was Restore Me by Tahira Murphy. This is the fourth book in the Shadow Me series, or the first book of the new trilogy in that series. I think I'm going to do a separate review video of this, but in general I both enjoyed this and was incredibly frustrated by this. I thought it was so unrealistic so unrealistic and lack of communication and lack of support for certain people made me so angry. I was yelling at this book quite a lot. But Tahira Murphy has a wonderful writing style. It was an easy read. So even though it made me angry, I still kind of enjoyed it. And even though it's massive, I was able to read it pretty quickly. So if you like Shadow Me, you'll probably like this. So lastly I squished one more book into May right at the end which was Magic Strikes by Alona Andrews. So this is the third book of the Kate Daniels series. I'm rereading this series in preparation for the 10th book which is coming out later in the year and I'm super hyped for it. This series follows a woman called Kate Daniel who is a mercenary in a world when magic has started to come back but it comes back in waves and when magic is up technology no longer works. Although sometimes technology comes back and then magic doesn't work so you've always got this kind of unexpected switch of you never really know what's going to be working. Each one of these books is essentially a mystery type novel where uh, some kind of murder has happened and Kate is investigating that murder. Um, but there's also like a longer running storyline that you get little hints of, little teasers. So it's a lot of fun rereading this because I get a lot more of those than I got in my first read. It's also really interesting reading the relationship, knowing where it's going to end up. So yeah, I'm really enjoying my reread and if you haven't read this series then please read it because I really want more people to read this series. Okay, so I feel like this video got really long. I was going to try and make it really short, but I got a lot of footage, so I'm going to have fun editing. I probably won't get it very short, so if you're watching right to the end, you've probably watched a really long video, in which case, thank you so much for sticking around. I really hope that you had a great reading month in May and that you also have a great reading month in June. Let me know if you've read any good books that you think I might like based on the books I just talked about or if you've read any of the books that I just talked about. I'd love to talk to you about them down in the comments. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.